Hellfire Club was a magical time in my life. And Nokan knew all the rappers. So he was like, okay, I'll start a label. He ends up linking with Bus Driver. Milo started coming up, you know, known as R.A.P. Ferreira these days. And then we all started making stuff together. We made the Dorna versus Tuki album. I think people started to look at Hellfire Club as just us four people. That was kind of antithetical to how no can started the thing. He started it as a record label. For people paying attention, they saw certain things blow up on the internet, saw certain shots fired back and forth, and um, ultimately things fell apart. I think it's all love between everybody now, but it's it's difficult for me to think about because I think we had such a huge opportunity to make an impact in indie rap and beyond with the opportunities that we had in that moment. It's hard for me not to regret that we weren't in a better place to be able to take advantage of all that because those opportunities don't come very often.